In 2023, at the high-level political forum on sustainable development, Lithuania has presented its second voluntary national review. This review in our sustainability path represents open and collective work of all Lithuanian people. Since the last review in 2018, Lithuania has made significant changes to its strategic management system. We have integrated SDG implementation into our key national plans for the next decade, aiming to ensure progress in social, economic, environmental, and security areas. We have also improved our official data system by establishing an open, dedicated Sustainable Development Indicators portal, providing additional tools for data-driven and evidence-based decisions. Lithuania's commitment to sustainable development remained steady in the face of challenging global context. The COVID-19 pandemic, Russia's brutal war in Ukraine, accompanied by global financial and energy crises. We will come from these crises stronger and more sustainable than before. At the same time, standing for peace, democracy, security, and human rights that are conditions for sustainable development. In these times of uncertainty and widespread disinformation, Lithuania is proud to announce that it has risen to seventh place in the 2023 World Press Freedom Index, which reflects the degree of media freedom and independence in the country. Despite negative impacts of geopolitical tensions, Lithuania is marching firmly on the path of sustainability and since 2018 has achieved great progress in reducing poverty, promoting gender equality, and ensuring inclusive education, as well as embracing innovation, fighting climate change, and accelerating installation of renewable energy. Lithuania has solid achievements in energy security and sustainability. For the last decade, we have been working to detach from Russian energy blackmail, which is still experienced in many Eastern European countries. A strategic decision to build a liquefied natural gas terminal in our seaport resulted in Lithuania becoming the first EU country to stop Russian gas and any other fossil fuel imports completely in May of 2022. Russia's war in Ukraine has further highlighted the importance of energy independence and have had a knock-on effect on Lithuania's energy conversion to renewable energy. Government has set an ambitious target. By 2030, 50% of the country's electricity consumption should come from renewable energy. In 2021, renewable energy accounted for almost 30% of Lithuania's total energy consumption. Currently, we're planning to build our first offshore wind farm in the Baltic Sea expected to provide around half of the country's current electricity demand by 2028. This steady transition towards more sustainable energy is a central component of Lithuania's energy independence strategy and is also at the heart of our fight against climate change. Everyone should have the right to success. Since 2018, Lithuania has made the biggest leap in the EU in decreasing the share of population at risk of poverty or social exclusion by more than 5%, and reducing inequality in income distribution by almost sixfold. Child poverty reduction was among the most successful. Since 2018, this indicator fell by over 6%. Tackling inequalities is a long-term challenge, which is also addressed through inclusive education. Lithuania implements initiatives to ensure equal access to education for both rural and urban residents, including those from ethnic communities and minorities. Escaping from Russian rockets on their homes, thousands of Ukrainian children joined our schools. We mobilized school communities and made swift decisions to create a safe and familiar environment for refugee children. For this purpose, Teachers and psychologists from Ukraine are employed in formal and non-formal education institutions in Lithuania. The role of inclusive education is also vital within the innovation ecosystem. Lithuania ranks first in the EU within 30 to 34-year-old women with higher education. Education, along with governmental support and friendly regulatory environment, mobilizes our efforts to support young entrepreneurs attract foreign fintech startups, and enables locals to create global innovations. We are proud to witness the growth of the Lithuanian startup ecosystem that promotes sustainable city values, car and electric car sharing platforms CityB and Spark, 
a real-time transportation planning service, Traffy, as well as an online used clothing retailer, Vinted, and used item sharing stations, Dequi. These are globally known national brands that promote the culture of sharing between community members. Moreover, for our startup ecosystem, gender equality is high on the priority list. In 2020, 38% of startups had at least one female founder. In the spirit of objectivity and progress, we must admit that during these tense times, certain challenges in achieving SDGs remain in Lithuania. Most important long-term challenge for the country and indeed the whole world is climate neutral and circular economy. Lithuania has fully met its international climate commitments and reduced its greenhouse gas emissions by almost 60% in 2021 compared to 1990s, along with almost 80% of increase in GDP, and now has an ambitious goal to make the economy climate neutral by 2050 and fully circular. However, circular economy is still developing too slowly and relatively unevenly. Therefore, the transition to climate neutral economy, which is inseparable from circular approach, is a strategic priority for Lithuania. Transformation requires the focus of all economic sectors. We have recently amended the law of excise duty, phasing out incentives and subsidies for fossil fuels and introducing national horizontal CO2 tax. We believe it is the most ambitious in Eastern Europe and hope it will inspire neighboring countries to follow. We're also developing fiscal incentives for residents and businesses to change polluting heating technologies, renovate buildings, decarbonize all activities. For instance, the historically conservative agriculture sector accounts for nearly a quarter of Lithuania's greenhouse gas emissions. But this February, the largest European organic food company, Lithuanian Alga Group, has presented the world's first hybrid biomethane and electric tractor for professional farm use, which allows us to produce food without cost to nature. And this May, the biggest vertical farm in Europe was opened in our capital, Vilnius, by a local tech-driven urban farming company, Leafood, greatly reducing the time and resources needed to grow crops. Now, more than ever, we need to go beyond national averages and act together collectively addressing gaps and challenges, leaving no one behind. We are linked and dependent upon each other. Providing to the most vulnerable is a must. If we stand for a sustainable, secure, and democratic world. In 2022, Lithuania has allocated 0.36% of gross national income to official development assistance. In this way, going beyond its international commitments. Indeed, Ukraine became a key priority for Lithuanian development cooperation. We are providing a wide range of assistance, humanitarian, financial, and expert. We are welcoming war-fleeing Ukrainians to our country, as well as contributing to the reconstruction of Ukraine's infrastructure. And we will continue to do it as long as it is required. Together, we are stronger. Let's speed up together. Let's co-create for a more sustainable future.